Hey, welcome back. Well, I can tell you, living most of my whole life in Texas, in one of the hottest states in the country, if there's one thing we really, really, really appreciate, it's air conditioning. And going back several years ago, I started reading about things called solar air conditioning. And I thought, oh my God, what a, what a miracle if they could make us an air conditioner that could run off solar panels. And as I, more checked in, as I checked into it more, it turns out, well, it wasn't all solar. It was a little bit of solar and you know, some, some grid power. But, but that technology has improved. And I am standing in front of a crate right now of the best technology right now you can get your hands on for solar air conditioning. This is an EG4 24,000 BTU hybrid solar air conditioner. And this system is amazing. You hook it up to solar panels and it will run off the solar panels unless there's not enough power. And in that case, it'll, it'll pull power from the grid. But this actual air conditioner is gonna be 100% solar because when it goes to pull from the grid, it's gonna be pulling from my solar system. We've tried running this one ton uh, window unit and it'll bring the temperature down a little bit, but it's still in the 80s. It does not air condition this place. So this monster is gonna give us two tons of air conditioning out here in our shop for free. So I will be getting solar power in directly into the air conditioning or solar power coming as the grid power. So I will have a 100% solar air conditioner, which I'm really excited about. All right, let's open this thing up and see what it is. Okay, so right here, there's two pieces. One, obviously, is the air handler, which goes inside the shop, and the other is the condenser that goes outside. So this is the inside piece right here. And the air handler comes with a template, which is nice, so you can mount it on the wall and you know exactly where to put your hole. It only takes one hole through the wall to get the, all the lines set, drainage and everything through there. Comes with a remote. How handy is that, right? So you can set your temperature, timing, fan speed, everything. Here's your hardware. All right. Okay, so the EG4 solar powered mini split is just like any other mini split. It comes with a interior hair handler unit that you're probably familiar with. It comes with all the hardware. It should be your wiring harness that will go from your 230 volt power source to the air conditioning condenser unit. And then this will go up through into the the air handler unit. So this is where we're going to mount the air handler unit. It's going to go on this wall on the north side of our shop and then we'll mount the outdoor condenser outside on a pad and run the the cooling lines up into the air conditioner from the back of the wall here. To get 240 volt power to this unit, so right here we have a 240 volt 30 amp service here and so outside here on this wall what we'll need to add is a emergency fuse cutoff. And there's one over here on the other air conditioners we can look at. And that's simply, that's simply one of these. And the way this works is there's a, you pull this handle out and it pulls the fuse out, which will shut the power off the AC unit. You need to install one of these on any air conditioning system you put in so that somebody working on your air conditioner can disconnect the power from the air conditioner. So we'll install one of those on the back side of that 240 volt plug. Now we will have to run conduit probably down through here, down the, the base of the building, and then we'll pull it right back up over there by the air conditioner. So it should be a pretty simple install, quote unquote. <laughs> but everybody that I've seen that's put one in has said it was not that hard. So we'll be doing a full install video and show how we put it in. And like I said, the outdoor unit will be here. The indoor handler will be inside where we showed you. And now the star of the show, the main condenser unit. Ta-da! 
How about that? Pretty impressive, huh? All right. Look at this monster. All right. Beautiful. So this is the outdoor unit. It's a two-ton, 24,000 BTU uh, mini split. It, it's just like a mini split air conditioning condenser, except for the fact that it has both AC and DC power input into the system. Hey, this 21 SEER 2 mini split heat pump provides great air conditioning plus heating. So you can use it all year round and run it off solar. Installation is easy for DIYers. It comes with a 16 foot pre-charged refrigerant line. If you need a longer line than that, check with Signature Solar and they can provide you with extensions. For the two ton unit, the PV is, it can take up to 2200 watts of PV with up to 380 volts of VOC power from your solar panels. And that runs up to 16.3 amps. So that means all I need is six of my 400 watt solar panels to power this unit and if there's not enough sun out running off those panels, it can pull from my other array and my, my inverters over here. You don't have to have a solar system or a solar inverter to use this air conditioning. All you do is directly connect your solar panels to the unit. The one ton unit runs off 120 volts and the two ton unit takes up to 240 volts. So make sure you confirm your electrical source and supply for the unit before you order. Both systems come with EG Force five year limited warranty. So if you need technical or warranty support, call Signature Solar and they'll help you out. I know you're going to know where would a guy get an air conditioning system like this? Well, I got this EG4 two ton mini split solar air conditioner from Signature Solar. And you can get one too. Just go to signaturesolar.com and look it up. They have a one ton and a two ton model. So 12,000 BTU or a 24,000 BTU. Decide which one's best for you, place your order, and in the coupon discount code section in your checkout, make sure you put my checkout code, two steps 50, and you will save $50 off your order. Hey, I'm Michael, and here at Two Steps From Off Grid, our mission is to educate and inspire you to build resilient DIY systems that support your independent lifestyle. Hey, if this kind of content resonates with you, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And stick around for part two, where we install this EG4 two-ton mini-split solar hybrid heat pump. Should be interesting. Hey, thanks for watching.